Masters Friendship Basketball Highlights. 40s taking on the PI traveling team, Romeo Sanchez. Wide open like a game room, the short jumper, count it. Roel Alves hits from long range, corner three to Ladza. Nothing but net for the PI traveling squad. Sandy Farron dishing the ball to Ken Gutierrez, who's off, but teammate Mark Tyron pulls down the rebound and gets the put back to go for the 40s. Smokey lighting it up from up top like 423. Ron Tidegui, pull up three from well behind the line. That's like a four pointer, drains it. On the break, Farron gives it up to Dom Regis for the basket baseline. PI traveling team winning 57-49. Romeo Sanchez, 22 points. Roel Alves at a 19 in the win. Alves hits the shot with the defender all over him like Finadeni on rice. Aloha made presenting the 12th annual Summer Jam Basketball Tourney opening games tonight running through to August 6th in the 8 under, 10 under, 12 under, 14 under, 16 to 18 under, men's varsity and open co-ed rec division. Attorney coordinator Elsie Ujoa says it's an exciting time of year for hoops players to participate. The tournament continues to develop players who progress and excel, a testament to their hard work and commitment to being physically fit and drug free. Now in its 12th year, the event hosts 42 teams, 150 games, 400 plus participants, including my nephew Ian, and its loyal fans visiting to Mooning Gym each week. Tatuja Mayor Luis Rivera chiming in. Each summer, it's great seeing the community come together, supporting hoops, keeping Guam's youths off them streets in an organized environment. All games held at the Tamuning Gym weekdays starting at 5.30 on weeknights. Games on Saturday and Sunday start at 11 in the morning with the final game being played at 7 p.m. Visit guambasketball.com for the game schedule, results, stats, or download the app. Yes, there's even an app for that. guambasketball.com to receive real-time game updates and results via the news feed. After completing training sessions and weekend training matches, Masakata head coach Mark Chargaloff has released the names of 24 players selected to the team's training camp starting today at the GFA training facility in Harmon. Guam's final roster for the EAFF E1 football championship round one. Guam will be released at the conclusion of the training camp. Now only 18 players will be selected for the final squad as well as two alternates. Uh, Chargalov saying for the players selected after the first cut, it's really about shifting to full competitive mode during training camp. Players will need to change their mindsets and fully focus on the upcoming matches, which are right around the corner. The team plays its first match of the tournament on June 29th against Macau, China. The Masakata next play against the Northern Mariana Islands July 3rd. Both matches kick off at 5 p.m. at the GFA National Training Center in Harmon. Of the 24 players selected to the training camp, only 13 are returnees. Additionally, 10 players named to the squad played in the IIAG Girls High School Soccer League during the 2015-2016 school year. The EAFF tournament will also feature a men's competition with teams from Chinese Taipei, Macau, Mongolia, and the Northern Mariana Islands. A complete schedule of the matches online at GuamFA.com. And of course, the Masakata, the Guam National Women's Soccer Team. In case you didn't know, now you know.